Hello, Ninja Spartans. My name is Marine Man. Welcome to the 2023 end of year mission brief, freaking captain's log, whatever the fuck I called the update videos now. But this one's just gonna be called 2023. And holy shit, what a uh, interesting year it has been. I don't know if I'm gonna put gameplay video over my face or what I'm going to do, but there's one thing for sure. It's been a wild year. To sum it up, it's been very eventful. Starting out the year, going back the second semester of college was interesting. Uh, getting into the actual film program officially at Wright State was not what I expected uh, it to be. It, it was just disappointing overall. The professor sucked a massive PP. Working with the people were fun, meeting the new friends was fun, but the overall experience was pretty shitty. Not ideal, and I would fucking change my thought process of wanting to go to college entirely. I wish I never did it. And now I'm down into student loans. I have to pay them. I have to connect my social security to my student loan account again or some shit like that. I don't know what's going on. Now it's just a mess. It's just a mess. So college, big poo poo. Everything else, big yes yes, big good, big happy, big big um big thing big big good big good we got twitch affiliate this year which was massive it was a it, it's an understatement uh saying that finally getting be able to be paid for doing content um in any form it, it, it's exhilarating and it's fun actually potentially having it as a income at some point is really exciting and so i don't have to work our normal nine to five job uh, i still work a normal job uh, on the side but i can't work a lot because i am on social security and everything like that i'm happy that we got affiliate on twitch thank you for all your support over on twitch over at twitch.tv slash raymond underscore ttv thank you so much i appreciate it and we stream every day from Monday to Thursday from 7 to 11 p.m. We are killing it. Uh, we have a lot of fun. We have nights where we go longer than 11 p.m. And when we do, we uh, have a lot of fun with late night streams and a lot of stuff like that. So I am excited to continue streaming. What the fuck Marine kind of took like a backseat this year uh i couldn't get out as many episodes as i like to it was very hard and difficult to film them in college i was able to get two episodes out which were the friday the 13th not the friday the 13th jesus christ the fucking five nights at freddy's don't know where that came from the minecraft how i remember it and then i came back home and did the light fall and then crash bandicoot texas chainsaw massacre and grab bag i the grab bag was literally the most filler episode i ever fucking done for what the fuck we're in i made that because i felt like i had to do something and i had no ideas so i came up with three random talk of it topics to talk about for a little bit and then i went ahead and filmed it and Put it out everything else i liked what i put out i enjoyed it i was um very happy with what i had i just wish i could put more what the fuck green right out um they do take a lot of time especially doing these skits where i'm every actor and doing everything uh, the arcs are getting more complicated and the story is getting more complicated like now Marine Man is not only reviewing the games, but he's the leader of Organization 13. And it's not the same Marine Man who reviewing the games, it's a different Marine Man. And all that, all that crazy, convoluted, Tetsuya Nomura, Hideo Kojima, fucking Jason Blundell inspired bullshit. Kind of nonsensical nonsense. Um, it's what I like to do, uh, narratively. Um, so... What to expect from what the fuck marine this year probably more episodes than last year um hopefully 
I, I, I beg to, for there to be more. Um, am I gonna get sorted right away with What the Fuck Marine? Perhaps. It really depends because I have a couple ideas what to review next and I just have to de decide the whether to go through with them or not. Uh, we uh, my couple ideas I have right now is Spire, Spire Ignited Trilogy. Um, I'm going to have to wait on Crash 4 because I own it physically. I, I own it physically, but I have a digital console. So I would have to rebuy Crash 4 if I wanted to play it and review it. And Crash 4 is a very long and triumphant game compared to Crash 1, 2, and 3 where there were only 18 to 25 levels. Not to mention all the split paths and uh, the challenge levels, the remix levels. There's a lot to cover in Crash 4 compared to 1, 2, and 3 where we just went through main game. Which we could do for Crash 4, but I feel like if we want to take on Crash 4, I have to call back to 1, 2, and 3 again, explain how the collect-a-thon of the gems and the relics really come into play compared to the massive collect-a-thon between the Crash 4 with its mass, its uh, audio or video recording thing, or whatever, stuff like that. But uh, uh, Spy Ignited Trilogy, maybe Crash 4, about time. Um, maybe we could emulate Crash Twin Sanity. We, I think I'm going to review Kingdom Hearts 1 this year at some point i don't know when but that is the plan to make it a big episode where we start our journey from marrying man not only becoming the keyblade wielder but becoming the keyblade master so we will review a kingdom hearts game probably once or twice this year um depending depending on how long it takes uh we will be streaming the gameplay on twitch and then i would have to go back and take notes and everything it will be a lengthy process to get the kingdom hearts episodes out but i love kingdom hearts i love what the fuck marine i'm very passionate about streaming the doll so it's just it's just like a snake eating itself I think eating itself is not self-beneficial it's more like self-destructive but like it, I, I what i'm trying to say it's self-beneficial it's more self-beneficial than it is self-destructive is what i'm trying to say um the what the fuck marine going pretty fucking good i'm really enjoying doing it it's my main project uh everything else is side stuff that i do the waste time build the time the music everything else which we'll get into next so music wow so pretty heavy stuff has been coming out uh, music wise this past two months parents parting christmas cameron and fell off all came out within two months so i've been grinding out on music a lot and the reason for that is is that through therapy i've been discovering more about myself um more about the obsessive tendencies that i used to have and why i had them and it's because these people in my life i was uh displacing all my feelings from my adoptive parents that i never talk about because i don't think about them uh and i displaced my empty void of them and try to fill that with the people i found attractive or romantic i had romantic feelings for and stuff like that so that really came out in the music these past more the past three songs so what fell off was just song i did because i was bored really parting and parents is one in the same two uh peas in the pot even though parting's not doing as well as parents um parting is as a parent as parents is and parents is something i didn't think i would ever make um same with semicolon and uh, senior year and stuff like that i think i would never make songs like that back when i was in high school i didn't think i would make a song like semicolon ever i look at semicolon and i'm like that's a fucking masterpiece and then I look at fucking the Marine Man, the original Marine Man theme, and I'm like, that's a fucking masterpiece. That was, back then, I thought that was peak Marine Man music. I thought that was it. It can't go any higher than that. I reached my peak, and then I, I, cause like after the Kingdom Hearts LP and uh, the Marine Man LP 2 wasn't good. Stuff like that was like so down 
compared to the original Marineman LP. And then him with Hamilton Finale, like that was the album that got me kicked out of high school. Uh, I know I said at the beginning of the year I would censor names, but with Parting and Parents and Christmas Cameron, I didn't censor those songs because I felt like the impact they would have would diminish entirely. It wouldn't have the same punch or feeling as it would if they were censored. So I love those three songs, Uncensored. And it's not like I was dissing anyone or anything like that. Um, I made sure to watch what I say and everything like that. The music was something I thought it was important to bring up at the end of the year because I made tremendous strides in therapy and music is one of my biggest coping skills ever. As long as like I'm having development with my personal struggles, there'll always be music to talk about my personal feelings, and you'll you'll get a little bit of the inside look of inside what's inside Murray Man's head at times and stuff like that. Like I would say, pe I would talk about people and say people's names that I would never talk about in a standard video like this, or even mention them by name outside song titles. I think we made tremendous strides with music and it seems you guys are really liking it and really enjoying the music uh last i checked uh, parents had 70 views uh which is crazy i didn't think and I, I i do listen to some of the songs here and there but i haven't listened to that song that many times so i know it's just not me listening to it also you guys so i'm really happy that you guys are enjoying the music as much as I do making it. Um, the music is very technical and uh, close to my heart and it's something I've done since almost the very beginning of the Marine Man channel. Um, when I put out the Learning Road demo, it sucked. It sucked bad. It's one of my private videos on my channel. I'll never let that fucking video see the light of day. Or that song see the light of the day. Just terrible. I'm happy where the music is at. So we talked about Twitch. We talked about what the fuck we're in. We talked about music. But there's one thing that we haven't talked about at all. Well, technically. It's the YouTube channel in general. Man. Uh. I've been slacking off. Kind of. Uh. Not really, but kind of, uh, other than the music and other than doing the Destiny 2 Let's Plays with the seasonal story content, I have nothing to Let's Play. Uh, we are streaming Baldur's Gate, we're not uh, uploading it to YouTube because that's a pretty huge game. And if I were to upload it to YouTube, I would mind as well uh, multi-stream and do Baldur's Gate streams on YouTube. The thing is, is that uh, we might have to make a double header with marine man what the fuck marine episodes and let's play so you'll probably might see a let's play and you might see a what the fuck marine with about the same game and that's not unusual because back at when mike and james used to have mike and james uh james and mike mondays they would play a game on james and mike mondays and it might pop up in the avgn episode so it's not that weird you do a let's play and then have a review about it in a different format. I do record stuff on separate tracks, so you wouldn't you wouldn't have known. But I streamed the Crash Bandicoot 1, 2, and 3. You probably couldn't tell because of editing and the different tracks, uh, audio tracks that, that I've used. But uh, I've got it down to a T where it's pretty seamless between a what the fuck marine episode and a let's play or stream VOD. I'm going to try to put more output with the let's plays when I can. Um, I don't know what games I'll let's play. We still have to do Modern Warfare 3. We have to, uh, what else? Uh, Call of Duty Zombies. Um, and stuff like that. The let's plays did take a back seat this year mainly on the latter half but that's so the streaming could thrive the music could thrive the what the fuck marine could thrive and i'm trying to make sure i can pour equal equal amounts of effort and love into everything and i'm trying not to spread myself too thin because we have streams we have what the fuck marine we have let's plays and then we have music we have four different categories of content that we're making 
and it's pretty intense sometimes and on top of it i'm also doing stuff for me like doing uh audio log in my uh new uh audio diary that i'm holding and uh my dream journal which i'm now digitalizing stuff like that on top of that we're fucking moving we're fucking moving so and it's i can't really share details on why we haven't moved yet but we're getting there and sometime next year we're moving i'm just imagining i'll be in the middle of like filming a what the fuck marine and then we have a move date and so i have to get the filming done before we move and then on top of that like if it happens to the point where i have to move during filming i have to refilm everything yeah it's heavy it's everything's really heavy but i'm really happy where i'm at i'm really happy i'm happy this year was fantastic um other than college fuck college that was a waste of time and money lots of money wasted anyways i've been talking for about 20 minutes that's a lot of time passing um so what i'm gonna do i'm going to not edit this tonight i'm gonna let this sit for the night i'm gonna take some melatonin take my medicine and go to fuck the bed here's another year to marine man to you guys watching the content thank you everyone red dragon diaper chad my friends such as freddy quentin tyler buddha Peyton. Uh, my family, everyone, anyone that I have missed, uh, Sonic, everyone, thank you for the support, thank you so fucking much, um, it's, you know what, you're, like, thanking people by name, like, the general people, and then, and it's gonna get to the point where I won't be able to thank you guys, and that's, like, I don't know, I don't know how I'm gonna be able to, uh, manage that i don't think it'll happen soon but in one in one of these days like if i wake up and everything blows up i don't know what i'm gonna do but hopefully it's a steady steady build up and not just overnight succession of massive imports of everything and i'm hopefully not trying to be a one-hit wonder with a video or a song uh or what the fuck marine episode anyways whatever Thank you guys so much for watching the videos, listening to the music, watching the streams, consuming the Marine Man content, and enjoying all the stories that I like to tell in the different separate media formats that I like to put them out as. I really love doing this YouTube thing, and I really love sharing it with all of you, and I'm really enjoying my life right now. And yeah, I, I'm, I'm really happy with how things are. So, hopefully, another year to growth, another year to more gaming, and another year more content. Alright, I see you Marine Smart in the next mission. Raymond out, bye bye, and let your heart be your guiding key. See you guys.